this game. Chris, much better performance here for Brooklyn. Really more than anything else compared to yesterday's action against Charlotte. Limiting mistakes and crisper. They didn't shoot it well, but the sets were good. They got good looks. They made a bunch of shots in the first quarter. Uh, from that point on, that really was not the big story for Brooklyn, but good defense. And again, limited turnovers. Nets get a W against a Washington team that had played well in its first two games of the season. Yeah, and considering some of the issues for Brooklyn early on, those yep. being the turnovers, the miscues, and some of just where they're supposed to be offensively, we saw just a really, really great attention to detail out of the gates, and it was sustained through the entire game. So to your point about even when they were missing shots, it was still good quality looks, yep. and that's really all you can ask for against a Washington team that in those first two games and in the two wins, they did an excellent job of turning their opponents over so overall for Brooklyn second of a back-to-back -back and just uh, the type of chemistry in terms of yeah. this lineup the rotations everyone getting in on the action I think you should feel good about this one moving forward yeah that's a good point everybody that played contributed in some way in that main rotation before uh, a bunch of the bench guys got in late and, and I think Bruce Brown who gets the start gives that energy Nick Claxton came off the bench and Claxton played well during those spurts defensively got some buckets around the rim uh, we don't know what steve nash is going to do night in night out it might be a matchup issue for him based on the decisions he makes for the starters but it worked here and bruce brown certainly filled a role that they were looking for and for bruce brown again credit goes to him for being such a professional of understanding when yep. you need me i'm here i'm going to be ready i'm going to be prepared and overall this is part of what steve nash and this coaching staff designed for the lineups of it is going to be fluid and it may be dependent on opponent there there wasn't some big necessarily with lamarcus aldridge yep. sitting out that bruce brown was a good fit here in the lineup and so i think you're going to see a lot of that mixing and matching in everyone is bought into that and everyone understands that so overall whether it's bruce brown we saw some really good activity from deandre bembry yes. coming in the game and um others you can go, go down the list but I, I think again the positives you draw from it were about the way that the guys came out with the type of energy necessary but it was the same in the third quarter it was the same in the fourth quarter even when shots weren't falling all right look ahead Miami Heat in town. Nets will have a day off and then right back at it here. The homestand continues against a team that's got a lot of firepower, as we know, in the addition of Kyle Lowry. And I'm going to be really interesting to, interested to see how this continues to come together with Kyle Lowry because not only a lot of firepower, but they, they've got a good amount of experience. Mm. And between Kyle Lowry, Bam Adebayo, what Jimmy Butler does, go down the list, Tyler Hero has been playing really well. Miami is a team that believes that they should be a contender. Yes. Big win over Milwaukee and just doing a good job here systematically early on. So it's not going to be an easy one for Brooklyn as Miami comes in here Wednesday. The Nets spoil Spencer Dinwiddie's return to Brooklyn. Uh, Dinwiddie did not shoot it that well, but you could tell there was a lot of emotion attached for him getting to see his former teammates and former coaches and fans as well. That's the story from here. Nets get the W tonight against the Wiz. Chris, back to you.